All right, hi, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'd like to kind of welcome you to the TCI website and to uh, eighth grade U.S. history. Uh, one of the things that's going to be a little different for you this year is that I'm going to give you a bunch of recordings and we're going to go and I'm going to kind of walk you through some of the things that you're going to uh, encounter throughout uh, each of these chapters um, in this particular class. Uh, what we're looking at right here <clears throat> is we're looking at a map of the 13 colonies, okay? Now, it, it, it goes from really the, the northeast down to uh, the southeast. You see places in the south like Georgia. You see places in the north like Maine, which actually wasn't a, uh, a colony per se, but it was part of Massachusetts. Um, and what I want you to do is I want you to just get familiar with some of this. You know, throughout time what we see is that we see the shapes of our states really changing over time. Now, if you take a look at some of these, what I want you to notice is I really want you to notice where some of the cities are, okay? Down here, uh, we've got places like Savannah in Georgia, we've got South Carolina, we've got Wilmington, we've got Williamsburg, then we get up to probably some of the more familiar cities, places like Philadelphia, places like New York, places like Boston, okay? Those are going to be major players in understanding uh, why the United States wanted to gain its independence from uh, Great Britain. Now one of the things I want you to notice as well is that we've got over here uh, on the western part of the colonies we've got the Appalachian Mountains. This is a mountain range that runs from Georgia up to Maine. Uh, and we see kind of where the colonies end. Now I want you to think about do the Appalachian Mountains play a role in settlement uh, of the colonies? Okay, I want you to see then to the east we've got the Atlantic Ocean. What role does the Atlantic Ocean play in the kind of jobs people have and uh, some of the things that uh, develop over time with the colonies? So as we take a look at this, I want you in particular to notice those different things.